In this part, we're going to make a bootable ISO file that can be written to, the, to a disk after it's been wiped, such that if the computer system is rebooted, it comes up with a screen um, informing everybody that has been wiped, when it was wiped, how it was wiped, things like that. <coughs> it's going to look like this. Um, and uh, there'll be information in here that uh, tells you dates and methods, things like that. So, um, the way we're going to do this is use XOR ESO, so you will have to uh, install that, which is done with uh, apt-get. Okay, so it's already installed. Um, so the we're going to use it to extract everything out of the ISO. It's important to do that with XOR ESO. Um, and you do that with this command here. I'll put all this in the comments so you don't have to make notes of it. And it's going to take uh, about a minute to do, so I'll pause. Okay, that's it finished. Um, now, notice that we did, uh, we used Ubuntu rather than Linux Mint. Now, Ubuntu um, uses Grub for both Legacy and Eufy, and uh, <coughs> Linux Mint uses a hybrid, um, ISO Linux for Legacy and Grub for Eufy. So Ubuntu's, um, you know, a bit more consistent uh, and doesn't have any unnecessary roughness. Um, okay, so the next thing to do is to... Uh, <coughs> Um, change the, it's faithfully been extracted as read only, so we're going to, we're going to convert it to, um, um, read and write. Okay, so now we have full access to it. So, um, the first thing is, uh, we're going to replace grub config, um, it's a fairly simple menu, um, it has placeholders for the date that it was wiped, and how it was wiped and a reboot because if somebody does boot it the first thing you want to do is reboot so copy that and we're going to put it in the image <coughs> in grub now the next thing is um, going back to the image there's a lot of Ubuntu stuff that we're not going to use in that grub menu so we need to get rid of it so that, 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 and Ubuntu. And just delete the whole lot. It's going to make the ISO a lot smaller. Uh, the next thing is we need a um, theme such that we can display the image that uh, I showed you. Um, and to do that, we mount Linux Mint here, say, and in boot, grub has themes. I will copy that. Go back to here and paste it in. Okay, now the themes um, would have to be modified as well, so here's our new theme. Uh, it doesn't have a title, you could put um, anything you like, like the name of your organization. It's going to use background.png, which is that, um, and the boot menu is going to uh, illuminate the selection. So it's important to copy that too, so copy it, put it in image, and finally replace the background image. So now the background image um, is is just a pretty picture, as, as I showed you earlier. Um, you can use anything you like, but it does have to be 1024 by 768 to, um, to be used to, to, to work. There we go. So that's the um, image ready. Um, I'll just show you the image again. 1024 by 768 in the, in the bottom corner there. So the next thing to do is to create the ISO. 
And of course we're going to use um, XOR ESO to do that. However, it, working out all this, um, these parameters for XOR ESO is pretty complex, um, but it does have a time saver, this. So we'll just run that and show you how you get the parameters. Well, in fact, you can see it's, um, it's more or less the same. It wants you to call it Ubuntu. Well, I've changed it to be Splash. Uh, it's going to change the ISO. Um, modification date, I uh, should, should really change that, but I um, haven't bothered. Um, so uh, what I did was copied all this information into this file, and then I put the uh, new lines on the end of it. So I'm going to put this in the comments so you don't have to go through the, the whole the whole shebang. And of course it's going to it's going to do um, it's going to operate on image. Okay, so run that. And it's pretty quick because the ISO is small. I'm just going to find the ISO. There it is. Um, and what we're going to do now is to test it. Um, I'm just simply going to make a USB with it and uh, boot it on a test machine. And the way to do that in Linux is pretty simple and make bootable USB. Then I put in a small drive, eight gigabytes. Nothing, nothing very. Um, Nothing very spectacular there, and we're just going to write it. Now we do need it small because um, you know when it's copied to the disk, we want that to go pretty quickly, and you can see wrote that very quickly. Okay, um, so I'll now boot the uh, test machine. This is the boot menu of the te test machine, so I'm going to do legacy first. And there's the splash screen. Uh, reboot by hitting enter. And this time we're going to use Eufy. And there's Eufy. So um, that's the ISO we're going to use um, post wipe to mark the disk as uh, completed and uh, show you how to do that next time.